All right, for this Lichtenstein pop art style portrait, what you're gonna need is this white cardstock, um, a pencil to draw with, and you need to make sure you have an eraser also. Um, if you wanna grab, if you have one, you can grab a separate um, eraser. Uh, you'll need your black permanent marker that's in your kit, as well as those primary colors. So you've got the, all three of those acrylic paint in your kit. You'll need some cotton swabs. We're gonna add those really cool um, Bende dots in there, the pixel to give us that pixel look. You also have a couple other painting utensils, this little paintbrush, and if you'd like to use your bubble wrap to apply some paint, we can do that also. Um, you probably might want to grab something to color with, either crayons or markers, um, if you would like. That's kind of an optional. Um, so for this project, I'm gonna walk you through the basics of drawing a face so we can get this really cool pop art cartoon style face. So go ahead and gather up all your supplies, find you a nice space to work. We will be working with paint, so make sure you're dressed for that. Um, if, you know, ready to get a little bit messy. And once you have all your supplies, we can get going. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna walk you through drawing the basics of a face. So, um, first things first, you just need to get you kind of an oval shape for the face, about this big will work. Okay, you might wanna make the bottom part of the oval a little bit thinner to give you kind of a chin, but everyone's face is different, so you don't have to do that. Okay, something like that. Um, now, all of these things that I'm gonna show you, again, are the basics. It's gonna give you the proportions of kind of where all the different face facial features should go on the face. Of course, though, with everything, um, these can be adjusted a little bit. Everyone's face is a little bit different, so the nose that I draw might not be the exact nose that you draw. The mouth that I draw, you might draw yours slightly differently, okay? It just depends on how your the style of how you wanna draw and the person that you're drawing. Uh, so keep that in mind. So after you have your oval, next thing you're gonna do is lightly draw in a vertical line right down the middle. Divide that face in half, okay? You can draw a line all the way through. I kind of did a little dashed line, whichever works. This is just gonna be kind of a reference guide for us to help us um, figure out where our other, our eyes and our nose and mouth needs to go, okay? And that gives us a nice line of symmetry right down the middle. So that way our face will hopefully be symmetrical. It'll be the same on either side of that line. Okay, next step, we're gonna divide it in half again, except for this time horizontal. And again, right through the middle. Okay, so maybe lay your pencil on and find the middle. And then do the same thing. I'm gonna do a dashed. Now this line right here is going to be our eye line. Okay, this is where our eyeballs are going to go. So, what you need to do, our eyeballs are kind of, again, they, they come in different shapes a little bit. Some um, are bigger and wider than others. So, just do your best and experiment. Um, if you, that's why we're drawing with pencil. If you draw something and decide you don't like it, you can always erase it, okay? But the basic shape for an eyeball is kind of like a football. So here, let me show you. And again, the center of the football, the, the ends, is gonna go on that line. So sort of a shape like that. Okay, kind of a football type shape. Okay, and then we'll do another one just on the other side. And I want it to be about the same space. So let's see here, I've got about a finger from my line of symmetry in the middle, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So this eye needs to start about right there. And then over here, I've got about a finger from the um, this side of my eye to the outside. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. That way my eyes end up being about the same size. 
Now, if for some reason you want to draw your eyes um, differently, if you wanna make them circles, make them more cartoon shapes, which might be like circles, or sometimes in um, some drawings, uh, you could draw one bigger than the other. That's totally up to you. That just gives the face different expressions. So again, this is these are just guidelines to show you where the shapes should go on a on a face, um, but you can always change that up and and do it differently if you decide to, if you want to do a different look. Okay, we will add more details to those eyes in a little bit, um, but for now, as long as you've got a couple football shapes, that should be good. The next step, we're going to take this half, bottom half, so from our eye line to the bottom. And we're gonna divide that in half again. So take your pencil, lay it on, kind of find about halfway from this line to the bottom. You can make a little mark there if you want. And then sketch in a line all the way across. That is gonna be, can you guess? Our nose line, okay? And this is actually gonna be the bottom of our nose. So right here on the line and where it meets our vertical, our line of symmetry, we're gonna put just a little kind of U-shaped, okay? Sort of a U, it's kind of flattened out, uh, like a flattened out U or like a little bowl, okay? That's gonna be the bottom of our center of our nose. So in a little bit, we'll add some nostrils on the outsides and then the top part of the nose, okay? But as long as you have this kind of bowl shape or flattened out U shape, that'll work. All right, now our face needs a mouth. So next thing, we're gonna go from this line to the bottom. We're gonna divide this in half again. Okay, so same thing, lay your pencil on kind of find about halfway and you can put a little mark there if you want and draw your line across. All right, that's gonna be our lip line, okay, or our mouth line. All right, and this spot right here, just like we did with the nose, we're gonna do another little flattened out U shape. Okay, and that is gonna be the center of our lips, okay? So we'll have a bottom lip down here and a top lip above. But for now, all you need is that, okay? Now I know it's looking kind of like an alien so far, but we'll get some details in there and add some hair, that'll help. Um, but for now, what's left? What's the other feature? We've got eyes, a nose, start of a mouth, this alien needs some ears. So the ears are gonna go between our eye line and our nose line, okay? And they are, are bigger than most people think they are. That's, they're gonna take up most of this space, okay? Again, some people's ears are much smaller, some people's ears are bigger. Um, if you want to do a drawing where you're exaggerating someone's features and making them way bigger or way smaller than they really are, you can do that. But if you were drawing, trying to draw a more realistic face, this is about where they would go, from the eye line to the nose line. Okay, so go ahead and get you some ears in there. And again, we're drawing with pencil, so if you draw something and decide you don't like it or you wanna change the shape, you can always erase and do that. Okay, once we have the ears in, next thing we need to do is add, let's add a neck. So you just need to draw two lines down. Um, necks, usually, some people's necks are wider than others, some people's are skinnier. Um, depends how you wanna draw it. Most um, necks start about here, about at the lip line or a little bit higher. So somewhere between the, the, the nose line and the lip line is a good place to start your neck. If you want it to be a big wide neck, you could start it higher. So that means the neck will be wider. If you want it to be skinnier, you could start it lower. Okay, I'm gonna put mine about here. 
and then there's two lines down. And if you want, it can kind of swoop out a little bit because as our neck comes down, it gets a little bit wider and it starts to turn into our shoulders. So you can kind of make that if you want, or you can just do two lines straight down.